Welcome back to the Content Complete Podcast, featuring myself, Spencer, my co-host, Matt, with Neanderthal Gaming TV, and from the land of Goostum, the leader of the Evolus, Piscake. How's it going? What the f- where am I from? What the hell? It's the land of Goostum, and you're the leader of the Evolus. The evil ooze? Yeah, you should know. You're the freaking leader. You don't know this shit? Is that is that the thing from the first Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie? Yeah, but Goose. Duh. That was Ivan Ooze, you fucking Philistine. Yeah, it's the secret of the ooze, isn't it? Yeah, secret of the... No, is it? Secret no, of the I ooze think... is, uh, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the second Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja Turtles right. movie. Yeah. You sure that's the third one? It's the second one. The third one is some stuff. They that... have a woman. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the third well, one. A, a lady turtle. The third one's yeah. a samurai one. Why they go yeah. back in time and fight yeah. as samurai. Cause... And there's the female one. that, Like, oh, who's going to get with the female one? Oh, shit. It's like Definitely Raphael. I don't remember who actually did. It could have also been Leo. Which one's the angsty one? Raphael. Yeah, it was him. He needs, he needs something to soften his edge. <laughs> Is that... And, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, well, because yeah. he's kind of a dick. Yeah. So usually they have like a, you know, you know, historically women calm men down. <laughs> From a storytelling aspect, it makes sense. I mean, you know, it depends, I it, it depends on the woman. <laughs> okay. Obviously. <laughs> I, I feel like I've been more upset... That since I started dating Evie, so I, I don't know about <laughs> that. I, I feel like we get into super arguments almost every week. Ah, oh, man. Wow, one of these days straight to the moon kind of thing, you know? Just, mm. <laughs> honeymooners, yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you know well, uh, jump canceling from there. Uh, Fiskeiko, what did you play this week or in the last two weeks? Oh, I played a few games. Uh, we've played similar games, but the games that we probably haven't played... Or the games that I've played, and you probably haven't played. I've been dabbling in uh, Skullgirls just a little bit. Um, trying no, to that's where you're fighting. wrong. Uh, no, I'm fucking with you. I haven't played Skullgirls. Okay, I was about to say, like, what? Okay, plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, Got him. No, I'm just working on some fighting game video thing in my Bob, so I've been very dabbling very casually in Skullgirls. Um uh, when I first started into it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Because I haven't played it since uh, when it first came out on the PlayStation 3. And then it was like on the Steam sale like a couple years ago and I bought it. Um, tried it out again a little bit. I'm like, okay, cool. But now I'm trying to like, you know, explore the fighting game scene. And uh, surprisingly, you have to like dig a little bit. But there's like a huge fucking scene for Skullgirls. They have like uh, their own forum they have uh, like weekly streams where like it's like for beginners, intermediaries, and like advanced players. They have tournaments at like other fighting game tournaments besides Evo, like um, CEO Taku. They had one. Uh, literally, the first one I thought of was is probably gonna be at CEO, and then you know like oh shit, this is a good <laughs> a, a good event for fighting games. Oh yeah, it's huge. Uh, I saw Sonic Fox playing there. I'm like, oh, wow. Even Sonic Fox is playing it. He just, he plays them all. He's just going to fight everybody, I guess. Or they. He go, they go by they now. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, um, so it's, it's actually really cool. I'm trying out Beowulf. He's the basically the the wrestler of the group. Um, his whole His whole backstory is that it's basically similar to Beowulf the story, but he, it's like a wrestler form. Like he wrestled a giant named Grendel. Then That's his funny. mom got pissed because he defeated Grendel. <laughs> like beats his mom. Dude, classic then, Angelina Jolie. Well, no, see, no, it's not. It's not the root movie. It's not. It's not that one. It's the old, like the, the original one. Oh, so it's not like. Yeah, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Now there's so there was a time before Angelina Jolie. There was. Oh, if you imagine that far back, yeah. But no. Well, yeah, yeah before the Big Bang, there was nothing. Though obviously Angie couldn't be there. Yeah. Well, no. See, there's the Big Bang. There. Wait. Angela Jolie is the Big Bang. Is that what's no, going on? No. Don't listen like to, to give Spencer. Her the Big Bang. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, see. All right. Again, this isn't like a Friday stream, so we have a little bit higher. Let's aim higher. Okay. 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 
My bad. This My is bad. aim higher. My bad. Oh, okay. Do it again. I'm going to smack the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was your one warning. <laughs> You'll only give it one a week. Remember. Um, but yeah, it's like loosely based on that. Then it's like this whole schoolgirls thing happened. He's like, oh, I'm going to fight everybody. Ah, oh. but uh, he has like a cool mechanic where basically he has like a hype level. And the higher your hype is, the more uh, combos and stuff you can do in the clinch. Nice. He's a really fun character to explore with. Um, so that, that's he, going okay. Is he low tier? I it, see the schoolgirl scene is very weird. I, I see a lot of people playing Peacock, which is like the 1930s looking character that has like all the shooting guns and shit. Mm hmm. And uh, uh, what's her name? Squiggly. She's a DLC character. And Sarah Bella. Well, she's like the one with like the living hat that has giant fucking arms. Mm, um, I played her. Yeah, a lot of people are running that kind of team. Um, it's teamed? I thought, it was, I thought it was 1v1. Uh, it can be, you can pick up a team up to three. And like they Marvel. balance out the character, like mm. they balance balance out the health and stuff, depending on how many people you pick. So you have like one really strong character, like two medium strong characters, or three like weak characters. Oh, that's crazy. But the bonuses you get from like switching people out and doing being able to like do tags and stuff balances all out. Um, I'm just doing the one character because I'm just trying to learn his shit, and then maybe maybe do another character if I can figure that out. Um. But yeah, a lot of people run Peacock a lot because she has all the uh, space and stuff, which I find I'm doing okay at. Like, every once, like, I'll basically, like, I play, try to play an hour a day. I'll work on my combos for, like, half hour or 45 minutes, and then I'll play online for a little bit. I, I did okay against one guy that was just playing Eliza, which she's some other character that basically has, like, instead of having, like, a super move... She uses her meter to like turn into like a more powerful character, and then like mm. it goes oh. the timer goes down from there. So she's like, she just moves up on the tier list. That's her, that's her power. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Kind of like a. Yo, that would be a sick character idea. Well, doesn't Akuma <laughs> just, or whoever in Tekken do that, or not Tekken? Uh, what is it? Is it us? Uh, Street Fighter. There's there's a character that like like uh, becomes like a demon version of themselves. I, well, I think that's I think Tekken. Akuma and okay. Ryu can both do that, but yeah. you gotta like figure out which Street Fighter you're talking about. Right, right. Like... And I don't remember. This, this, yeah. I'm not sure if it's the most recent one, the one just before that, that had something like that where they um, he would like turn into like a crazier version of himself, basically. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know but, either. Um, okay. But I, I did okay with one person playing as uh, Eliza, which I think they were probably around the same skill level as me, but then I came across a peacock player with uh, Eliza or with uh, Squiggly and them. I didn't win a single one, but I did manage to, like start to make them sweat by finally figuring out how to avoid their fucking spacing shit. I'm like, uh, Wolf Blitzer, up, down, left. All right, I, I'm going to get you. I, ha, I punched you once. Oh, fuck. Now you're showing <laughs> me back to the other side of the stage. Okay, well, I'm coming back. Another punch. Ha, gotcha. Nice. Um, oh, you don't know how fucked well, you are, brother. <laughs> oh, I was. I, I, it, it's a level of fuck, you know, like, oh, well, I'm just going to count that victory if I could punch him four times. Nice. Oh, I've hit, <laughs> I've hit a PB. <laughs> Yay. But, um, so we'll, we'll hear more about that some other time. Um, I play the carry on demo that you can get on Steam right now. Um, oh. How was that? I was trying to, huh? Oh, I was just asking how it was, but go ahead. Oh, it was really good. Um, it's it's, it's kind of it's really cool. It's like a basically you play as like a weird alien. Yeah, you're blob like thing. the villain. Yeah, you basically play like the thing in the thing movie, um, where you're kind of just like ro not rolling around. You're just like the the gameplay is similar to that. Like it's a Metroidvania where you have to like explore the state, like explore the the entire place, figure out where to unlock and use upgrades to like get through certain areas and whatnot. Uh, you get your strength from eating people 
and there's like numerous ways to do that. You can like sneak up on them or you just grab them, thrash them around a little bit, eat them. Um, and the, another cool thing they have is basically for depending like how much health you have, uh, I mean, it, it depends, like, if you're, like, half health, you're at stage one. If you're at full health, you're at, like, stage two. I'm sure you get, like, more health upgrades later on. So, that like, you'll have, like, different abilities and whatnot. Oh, that's interesting. So, so they tie how many abilities you have to how much health you have. Uh, so if you if you yeah. lose health or get hurt, you become weaker. Yeah, it's, like, uh, basically, every time you get, like, a health upgrade, you get, like, access to certain things, but maybe you won't be able to like fit into certain spaces though either. Mm. Um, so it, it's, it's interesting to see what they're going to do with that, but yeah, it's just a fun little, probably, I think it was only like a 10, 15 minute demo. So if you want to get a taste of being a bad guy or bad thing, I guess, go, go play carry on or, or misunderstood Rawr. alien menace. Yeah. No, I think it's I pretty clear that, that you kill everybody and you beat them. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's pretty straightforward. That's on that just part. how you know. say hello and carry in. I, well, maybe true. I guess, I guess in that aspect, that could be the thing, but it's I mean, who attacked first? That's what you got to look at. Mm -hmm. Well, you do. You also do definitely attack oh, first. Oh, oh, okay. Is Angelina Jolie there? <laughs> no. Obviously, dude, okay. because she's the end all be all. Right. She's everywhere and nowhere. She's the wind. <laughs> that isn't so are you saying that she would be able to feed the carry-on is that what's going on if i'm she saying she might even be the carrion we she's, don't know for sure being we just know brad left mm. no, anyways Didn't, like brad leave like a hundred years ago <laughs> no he it was well relatively recent in angelina about time, a year sure yeah. well yeah. as <laughs> you know angie fan you know, she sees all past, present, future as the same timeline, kind of like Dr. Manhattan. Mm. Oh, that makes right. sense. Which explains she how she looks in part. the adaptation of her life, Beowulf, uh, where she's mostly just like naked, right? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's actually, you know, just like Dr. Manhattan's basically naked. It's just how supreme beings are. So many are. parallels, Fistcake. I don't know how so, you haven't picked up on this. So Beowulf... Is the adaptation of her life mm -hmm. in Beowulf the epic poem, or just her life in general? Both. So, mankind's not supposed to understand this cake. It's not for us. Kind of like Death Stranding. Hey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> just the you know move that right along, I guess, because I don't know how to exit, <laughs> exit the, the jolly hole. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Also been playing uh, a lot of Death Stranding. Uh, you guys are a little bit further ahead of me, I think. I don't know how much further, but... Um, uh, and, not, uh, not a whole uh, lot, yeah. As, as Have I, you got like, to I, Mama yet? No, not yet, no. Okay. Um, like I said, I just dropped the thing off in the lake. Um, I have to drop off some stuff at South Knot City next, I believe. Gotcha. Which... Uh, Minor inconveniences on my way. So I went to go drop the thing off in the city because I thought they said that Fragile was in South Knot City. Mm. But I was wrong and I was treated with a cutscene in the game over. So then I'm like, where the, where, where the fuck is she? She's in South Knot City anyways. Distribution Center. Yeah. If, if you uh, are watching this and you have not heard or seen anything about Death Stranding... It's the latest Metal Gear Metal Gear game. Um, <laughs> doesn't have any of the characters or the plot. It has Norman Reedus. No, um, <laughs> it's a. It's made by the same guy who made the Metal Gear series, but yeah. he um, decided to make a a delivery simulator um, set uh, in the future. Essentially, and yeah. There's, and there's ghosts and stuff, and it's pretty, pretty. Uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool because I think there's the, there's kind of a focus on like I, I find it interesting the way he decided to approach it because there's a whole focus on uh, connecting like a a, a, a fractured uh, America back together again as you play, mm -hmm. um, and uh, doing that through uh, a, a delivery courier who has to travel to those locations anyways. It's just it's an interesting way to go about that. A carrier named Sam Porter Bridges, because he—he's a porter, and he works for Bridges. 
Mm-hmm. He, 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 uh, he, uh, he worked. Yeah. It's, it's how names work in the future is very crazy. It's uh <laughs> die hard. It's fucking man. nuts. Die hard man. There, there's death one. man or dead. No, sorry. Dead, dead man. man. Heart man. Mama. Die hard man. Uh, mama. Uh, the president, which I think her name is Bridget. Yeah. Bridget Bridges. And she runs the company. Yeah. Bridges. Uh, no, her, she doesn't run the company. The dead man runs the company. Yeah. He's the CEO. Well, I thought she made. I thought she made the company. He. I think he said without her, it wouldn't have been possible. But I think she helped. Well, yeah, I know. Like he runs it currently, and was probably running while she was sick. But I think yeah, she probably found. I don't. I don't know. That's probably like hidden like some kind of uh, interview or email somewhere. Mm-hmm. Had to look. Uh, and then out of all do, these. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I say with uh, uh, Kojima trades uh, 13 hours of cutscenes for uh, uh, emails and interview logs this time, which you know, I, 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 thankfully that, that that's a good thing. Um, there's still pretty long cutscenes in the game. Yeah, uh, I think the ending's like n- multiple hours long. Um, so if you think you're near the end, be careful. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you I mean, got popcorn. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? No, they just they have like a lot of backstories in like the interviews and uh, emails you get access to, mm-hmm. and throughout the game. Uh, what were you yeah. gonna say? I was just gonna say, and then out of all of these uh, completely normal names comes uh, mm-hmm. Emily, uh, which just seems totally like not of the same world <laughs> compared to a lot of the other people. I'm pretty sure that's like a that's purposeful. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Well, yeah, I think like her full name is like something America something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I remember correctly, they yeah. say her name, her full name, at some like really early in like the first chapter. Yeah, so yeah it's like it's, in the first cutscene, like... or is with the president. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. After your first like like your so, second mission or whatever, but yeah. Hmm. Um. No, all in all, uh, it's 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 a, it's a very enjoyable gameplay loop. Uh, just the, like the minor inconveniences of whenever you get caught up in the BT thing. Mm-hmm. And that just like completely fucks your entire day. Like your BB's crying while you're trying to fight the giant squid, and it's just like I don't, like, I didn't drain enough blood today. I don't have enough for this shit. Okay, I'm just gonna. So just gonna I wanted to ask about there. that because um, we haven't had the 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 joy of of seeing you know, like you play, and you haven't had the joy of seeing us play. So I, I, I wanted to, mm-hmm. to, to to check with that because Matt so far because he's the one playing the game. Um, has been pretty consistent in not um, uh, having like a, a bad BT encounter. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like you haven't gotten past. Um, okay, how much do we want to talk about here on on stream? Um, I would say. I mean, if it's spe- gameplay like, stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just gameplay not story beats. Fine-ish. Yeah, not story beats. Okay, it's just like story. Why we keep to like the first chapter. Gotcha. Really? Yeah. So basically, anytime Matt gets involved in like a BT scenario, you you really don't get past the initial tar that comes about, and um, you haven't even like. Yeah, I've never died to a BT. Yeah, I never died to a BT. Like in the actual game, that was. I've like only a died scripted. twice. Mm-hmm. And Matt's only died twice. So I wanted to know: Have you had similar luck, or has, or have you experienced, uh, getting totally just like messed up? Because you, you've had a couple of close calls. Yeah. I haven't been killed by one yet. Um, mm-hmm. I I've killed two, I think, two or three. Um, there's probably one I would as I, w- I was going to die on, but I just restart the save because I was like in a building, trying to sneak through, getting some asshole stuff because he's like, oh, I'm not trusting you until you get me my stuff from this thing. Yep. Like, okay, yep. whatever. Yep, craftsman. And uh. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And a crash that dude's so like, a fucking Thank jerk. <laughs> yeah, and the junk deal. The junk dealer's a piece of shit too. But yeah, uh, um, so I'm sneaking through there, and it's very hard because like when you're sneaking through, you're trying to you know not run into walls and shit, and then there's like ghosts everywhere. And I thought I was doing great, but apparently on a second plane there was a BT, and then like suddenly the whole thing triggers. I get sucked up in the tar. And it literally drags me through the building. This was like literally like a 10, 15 second 
scene. Normally it's like a two or three second thing of you like fucking getting dragged like a hundred feet somewhere. And then you they drag me through the building like halfway into like the middle of this crater. And that took like probably like around 10 seconds and like all my shit behind me because it got stuck in the tar or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, fight the squid now. I'm like, oh, do I have anything? Now all my shit was over there like a hundred feet away. I'm like, oh, or like, I don't even know how far away. (laughs) Like, no, oh, okay. so if you die, you have to refight the squid? You, no, you, I didn't die. Um, you don't... They have it's, different... Bot, well, like mini-bosses or whatever you want to call them. Um, you'll fight this... Like, some places you'll fight a squid. Some places you'll fight, like, this giant dog with a thing. Um, so I've only fought the squid, and it was... I, I, I had to because yeah, of the story. It was that story bit where you have to fight it and like oh no yeah okay well you fight like a smaller squid um or was it a I okay, actually I fought a squid and a whale and a dog um, yeah um I've I haven't told Matt any of this but uh, like I know like fully what happens <laughs> um but uh yeah there's yeah. like if 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 you get caught up you can get dragged to a, a, a down there and, and and then you have to you have to face them basically mm. um uh, yeah. and what's interesting is matt when when the tars started you've been able to i don't know how you do it but you've been able to uh basically not ever get dragged ever and you just shook them off and walked out of the tar every time it's miraculous i don't know nice. how you do it yeah i'm you know this isn't shade but it's not hard so well, I just assumed everybody was doing it like that. I, I, I didn't think, think it meeting, was cool. Like you're meeting some kind of condition where you're reacting right away with with, with a shake off, and I and you're able so, to kind yeah. of get ahead of it. But mm-hmm. if, if if you're unable to to get that out quickly enough, then you get like he was saying, you get dragged like a, a few hundred feet or something like that. Mm-hmm. I also don't lose mm-hmm. my balance because I'm always holding that L two R two. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, that's probably why then. Because yeah, I mean. Normally, I can, like, go through the first shake-off, but if I don't get out of the tar fast enough, they find me again, and then, like, for some reason, I can't shake them off fast enough, and then I'm like, all right, here I go, we. <laughs> we... So I didn't know you never, you never done, like, the, like, the BTs in the open area. Yeah, so basically, you get dragged through, and then, like, a creature will pop up, you fight the creature with blood weapons, and then, uh, if you beat it, it's, that area is fine for a while. Yeah. That's oh. pretty much the yeah. whole thing. Through the, if, that whole, like, crater area you're talking about, uh, Matt essentially snuck through the entire thing and then uh, preemptively tossed the, the, the blood grenades at the, uh, the specters before they could activate. Yeah, they're in my way. I'd, nice. I'd just get rid of them first, and then I dipped out the... I went over the wall. Yeah. So I put down a ladder. I was like, see ya. I'm not going back through there. Left my bike. <laughs> Had the bike since oh, no. you get the bike. Oh, that's where you left the bike? Yeah. Oh shit! Damn. Um, um. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, we can talk about uh, our I experience just, with it after when we it's our turn to talk. Oh, that's right. Um, I was just gonna say I when I restarted the save, I had like sneak through the right side instead, and mm. when I activated the thing or whenever I got the stuff, I still got somehow I was inside the shelter, and the fucking thing still activated. And I almost got God again. I'm like, no, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Managed to run away and just run back. It's like, fuck this, fuck this whole fucking thing. <laughs> this whole fucking crater area. Yeah. Yeah, that place sucked. Uh, mm. It's um, everywhere. Then pretty much just like today, I just spent like most of the day filling my truck up with metal and ceramics and building roads. Dude, but, you get so many likes from building roads. Everyone loves it when you build roads, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think once I finally get all the roads built up, I'm going to like start dropping signs because you automatically get a like every time somebody goes through a sign. So you get like roads and signs all over the roads. Nice. You're going you're gonna to be, gonna be set for life, dog. Set for fucking yeah. life. But what the fuck do likes do? Likes... They- are basically like your currency to buy stuff and also they uh upgrade your level. That's what's like increasing like your levels as a porter. Yeah. The, yeah, okay. the star yeah, thing, okay. the yeah, okay. effect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. For some reason yeah, I just uh, yeah. I like I knew that that did that. that, 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 that. I knew that mm-hmm. it did that 
<laughs> but I was like, my brain was just like, what am I ever going to spend these likes on? I got so many likes. It's like currency. Yeah. So I, the whole, I was just thinking of it as currency most of the time. But yeah. I knew that the likes, you know. From the deliveries and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It, it like, it, whatever it, 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 uh, it, uh, it affects, uh, the the source of the like is is what um uh, changes that so it, any likes from from people up your bridge rating yeah mm. pretty pretty cool um yeah I'm trying to think of uh, um have I your mean, run-ins I... oh go ahead if you have something specific you want to talk about no nothing specific i was gonna say i probably just save most of everything else until i beat it or whatever mm. otherwise we'll just be yeah i got dead you horse, but... What were you going to ask? Oh, yeah. I was just going to ask, um, how have your run-ins with the mules been? Oh, I forgot. To, okay. I fucking love beating up these fucking nerds because they annoy <laughs> me all the fucking time with their fucking shit. Dude, if I get caught, I'm like, all right, we fighting now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's pretty much like, if you make me roll out of the car, I'm kicking your ass and I'm going to your camp and kicking everybody else's ass because now you've wasted five seconds of my time so I'm going to spend ten minutes kicking all your asses <laughs> mm -hmm. and stealing all your shit and making more fucking roads. Because mm -hmm. they, they piss me off to no end. Like, oh my god. Like, literally today when I was like trying to uh, get through some stuff I was just trying to peacefully ignore them just driving over a bridge and they, they hit me while I'm in the, I'm in the bridge so Sam's mm -hmm. rolling out, and he's, like, rolling out on the edge of, the, like, the far edge of the bridge. So, like, I'm, like, really close to falling down to this crevice. I'm like, I swear to God, if I fall down, I want to be, I want to just kill them. I'm going to just run them all over. I don't give a shit. But <laughs> luckily for them, I somehow stayed on the road. But then I just, like, all right. Oh, they're so fucking time. lucky. You gave me a scare. My, You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> let me get my rope out as I parry you and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> And bolo guns. Bolo guns are pretty nice. Oh, the bolo guns are too. so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just bolo them, then you go and kick them, and that's it. Mm. Game over, mule oh, yeah. bitch. Uh -oh. well, I just find out today that's what, like that's how you knock them out is by kicking them when they're bowled up. Yeah, imagine finding out first, initially was... uh, either. Yeah. Oh, yeah, at first I was just like, waiting, waiting for them to come back up. I'm like, all right, come on. Do something. Yeah. I think you yeah. had an extended like like fight with the mules because of that you like bowled the like like the the entirety of the caravan that was coming at you and you went to the the, the, the camp and bullet everyone there and then more people kept coming from different directions and you're like oh wait <laughs> they're just getting back up out of the bullet shit god damn it yeah mm -hmm. yeah usually yeah, I, I, fucking, I wipe them out i fucking love beating up those fucking nerds oh i hate them so much oh my yeah, god. and it, uh before you got access to the truck in game uh, did you do that thing where you would just grab their truck and use their truck to help carry their shit back to your base? I never, never got, I mean, like, I didn't really start beating their ass until I got the truck because um. I, uh, like, there's, like, one time where, like, a group of them was chasing me throughout. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just kick, I'll just, uh, fight them real quick. But, um, most of the time they didn't really get in my way. It's mostly because the truck, I think, is like a little bit slower, and they can like actually hit it now. It's like yeah, when, yeah. it's when they finally now yep. they're on my radar. <laughs> right. Yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah. That's what I noticed too. Is uh, the, the the bike is just too fast, mm. and uh, they can't quite hit you. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah I, th I think like the second, like it might have been the first time you, you kill the camp, or the second time you kill the camp, that you stole their truck and used their truck to carry their shit back to, to, to the, the thing. Mm -hmm. It was great. You can't yeah. like. You can't keep the truck, but you can, like, bring it to a generator and stuff like that. And, like, you, you can still maintain it. Mm -hmm. It's a way to get, like, an early truck. Just, yeah, yeah, you just can't, like, I think it can't carry as much stuff, but, I mean, still a nice, a bigger, bigger carrying thing than the motorcycle at first, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, God. Thank God you said that. I, 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 was, I, I really wanted to talk about it, and I completely forgot about it. So. <laughs> I fucking hate those guys. Have you um, have you used the uh the, the 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 tether rope gun? The sticky gun? Yeah. What the fuck does that do? Nah. Uh from what I understand it just grabs Yeah, you can uh, just grab shit from a distance. It doesn't do anything to people. Yeah, the way she says it, she's like, Oh, I'm sure that you can get really, you know, uh I think she was just being sexual, dude. I think mama kinda dicks you. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Mm, yeah. 
Yeah, c- um, because the, the way she said it, it made me think that you could like grab people and pull them or something like that. But no, Matt tried it multiple times; it doesn't work. I'm like, ah, that sucks. Yeah, I haven't yet to use it. I I got it for the mission, but I was like, okay, cool. I'll just I just rather beat the shit out of them besides steal their shit. I don't. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's all about the beatdown, dog. Yeah. It's all about that goddamn beatdown. Um. Uh, but also played a payday two with y'all the other night. Mm. That was that was a fun time. Yeah, I, yeah, that game was surprisingly fun. Hmm. uh dabbled in it way back in the day on the PS3, similar to Skullgirls. I think it was probably around the same time I got it. And I never got to play with anybody. I only played with like the computers and whatnot. And I was like, oh, this is okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I got on sale probably, I don't know how long ago, and then I saw you guys playing it the other day. I'm like, oh, if you need more help, I, I can try booting it up and see what we can do. Yeah. And I mean, before you joined, last time we played it, like, literally, we would just set the, uh, the, uh, there was one mission where we set the, the AI to just watch a door. Dude, you... the AI <laughs> is a god. Yeah, AI actually. I saw, god. yeah. Like, hero AI. <laughs> just like <laughs> helping us healing us you got oh, you yeah. did all right I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry i'm no god tier i I'm, I'm just a humble i only it was my first day at the job you know it was you know my first day of the at, at, on the career mm-hmm. of being a thief right um there's a lot of a lot of depth to that game fucking different skill things yeah. you know, your skill trees your skill cards mm-hmm. or whatever and then you can only buy certain weapons at certain levels. It's uh It's definitely it's a lot more interesting. intense than I remember. <laughs> yeah, well I'm sure that over time with all the updates and stuff like that, it's it's probably grown into what it is now or so than Oh yeah. Yeah. I wanna see how old the game actually is, because I we've been joking around about it, but Yeah, you were like, Oh yeah, man, it's like a decade old. <laughs> I was like, is it that old? Maybe Payday. I wanna one. say twenty sixteen. 2016? I think it's older than that. You're saying 2016. What do you want to say, Spence? I was going to say 2014. 2014? Um, uh, it was released in August 2013 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. It was released for the Nintendo Switch on February 2018. Wow. wow. So, almost a decade. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Eight years. Uh yeah. Eight years? Well, no, six. No, six. What the fuck could I think? Eight years. God. I'm confused again. Yeah, yeah. Man, I was just sorry. wrong. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not confused. I'm just fucking wrong for this. <laughs> just downright wrong. Yeah, but, but it's, yeah, a, it's a lot of fun. The, the awesome. shooting's fun. Uh, the goat. I feel like the, the like there's like the artificial difficulty of like the first time you play a mission is when it's its hardest, but after you play and know what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it's like a like a billion, well, not a billion times easier because you still have to deal with enemies, but it's like a lot easier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that fucking goat mission was a nightmare. Right. Yeah, that mission Coulter. sucked. <laughs> Coulter think... was the MVP slain thousands yeah. and thousands of cops as he waited for his whole team to come back. <laughs> his whole team to come back. <laughs> <laughs> hero yeah, that was AI. Crazy. Yeah, Coulter was a hero AI there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was the god tier AI. But, um, really fun game. Can't wait to play more of it. Might mm-hmm. look into some more stuff about it, but um, that, that's it for my week. What are you two been up to? Dude? Well, uh, besides Death Stranding. I mean, I want to talk about Death Stranding because we didn't get okay. to talk about our experiences. Gotcha. Yeah, go ahead. I like that game. I think it's good. There's some things mm-hmm. that irks me. Mm. The menu okay. system is very convoluted. Like when you make shit, like when you fabricate stuff, why can you not put stuff in the share locker from that menu? That makes no sense to me. There's some artificial steps in between you being able to... Yeah. You make it, and then you have to leave the entire thing, and then... Yeah, because, like, if you make new equipment, you're like, all right, this thing... My ladder's almost broke. i just put that shit in the yeah. share locker. You can't do it from that menu, which is stupid. So you have to go back and exit and come back in. I think mm-hmm. the bike is very good on a road. Because <laughs> well, if yeah, you're... I think that's, yeah. Is it's just so unruly, <laughs> like, like, and I, you know, uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stubborn. <laughs> so, oh. like, I took my bike all the way up to the the weather place. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and it just gets knocked on like the, the littlest pebble. So that's annoying. Yeah, you're driving. You're like dunk. I'm like, wait, what? It's just this tiny little rock. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. We what started uh, talking to it like it was a horse from from, from Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, from Red. You're because, all right, girl. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it kept like uh, uh re- like rearing up sometimes. <laughs> like you're all right, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I also don't like how. So, like the way that you do deliveries and stuff like that, I think is fine. But if you deliver something from somebody, so say like the craftsman wants you to deliver something to you know to the depot or whatever distribution center yeah you don't get any rep from him if you deliver it so you only get rep from the the the, the place you, yeah the destination which doesn't make yeah. a whole lot of sense i mean and sure and then like some of the uh deliveries it wouldn't make sense for you to get shit from like the craftsman or something like that but i think more often than not they're just like Hey, take this over there, blah, 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 and then I'll be grateful. And then you're like, will you? Because I'm not going to get any points for this. You don't uh, like my shit. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice if, if, uh, uh, if, if a, a prepper, which is what, what those guys are referred to as, um, uh, gives you a job that the destination and him would both give you, you know, would kind of like share that on different tiers or whatever. Because... It, you completed the job that he assigned to you, so it just mm. stands to reason that he would care. <laughs> yeah, that you would, yeah. you would get it, and it it kind of makes doing like some of the hidden preppers stuff more difficult because you have all these because other... you have to take their deliveries before you can do more shit for them specifically. Yeah, um, yeah. So some it slows pe- down the whole process. Yeah, some people were talking about how you can find stuff that is assigned to them. Uh, beforehand and then turn it into them as like lost loot or whatever and you can you can kind of start them out that way without having to have a uh, a mission to do so first if you just find it out in the wild but yeah Yeah. i mean it still makes it look a little harder Mm. because there's just more steps in the way of you being able to increase your standing with them yeah um and then there's one mission i think you have to do as part of the story where you have to go like near a waterfall oh god that mission sucked oh he's not there yet never mind it's awesome <laughs> it's great. so don't good dude it. yeah yeah you, i don't know you if you could if soon. you could sign like if you could for some follow me on the whatever the fuck it's called oh yeah matt's got a setup for you when you eventually go to do it matt's got everything all figured out so mm-hmm. Um, you just follow my shit, dude. Because I w- cause I went down there. I did the mission, and uh, I missed a memory stick that gives you a special motorcycle. And I'm pretty much I probably like, I only yeah. use the motorcycle because I think the truck kind of sucks. Um, it's good for carrying shit though. Um, yeah. But I had to go all the way back down there, and it just blew. It just sucked. So. <laughs> But there's a whole infrastructure of, yeah. of, of, of things to help the, the journey be so much easier um, that Matt set up, mm-hmm. um, which you're about to get to, this cake. So, um, yeah. if we, yeah, it's weird because you, you haven't seen any, if, I guess if you're slightly ahead, you're not going to see his stuff necessarily. But you're in the same area. Yeah, I don't know. That's so. weird. And you're steam- You see the you, stuff when, as soon as you put the area on the Kyle network, but it's weird that you can't add like your actual PSN friends as like. People. Well, it says it, Spencer looked it up that it was supposed to be like more likely to show up, but I haven't seen any yeah. anything from you. And yeah, um, if your PSN friends, are, it's it's supposed to be more likely, but I don't know if maybe you're regionally too far away or something. But that, I don't know. It's that that would defeat the purpose then. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the mules. Uh, uh, I had an epic war with them while <laughs> while delivering the thing I'm supposed to deliver to the lake. Yeah. Oh, in, shit. In the middle of that. So in the middle really? of that, I had a drag out fucking just Damn. fight with a bunch mm. of mules. 
and they would fuck my shit up. And, and, it's and time. this is why the truck sucks because you just like. I'm like driving. I'm like, all right, the trucks. It takes forever to like un- become unelectrocuted or whatever. So I get back in the yeah. truck, and then motherfuckers just throw one thing, a and spear, then, a spear, yeah. and then I'm fucked, and I have to fight them all. Right, and, 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 and because that's interesting because that's the one mission I used like the bike on recently. I was like, oh, I gotta get there fast. Zoom, zoom, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I had a bunch of other shit. I, yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah, I was still carrying the. Yeah, I was still carrying all the stuff for. The South Dong South City. City. Yeah. yeah. Okay. South Dong City. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up, Nimbus? Yeah, New Dong City. Hey. Yeah, how's yeah. it going, Nimbus? We might just hey, Nimbus. we might not respond right away. Yeah, because we're having a conversation. Uh, but yeah, you can speak. Um, but uh, yeah, the the it, it was crazy because it's like it's like on a time a timer and it was one of those it, like if I could just put enough distance because you went like around them mm. and was trying to just avoid them so you'd have to worry. And what's really fucked up is they respawned them there. Because I had already taken them all out maybe yeah. like 30 minutes before. Not not even. I think it was mm. like it was like on your way back from something else. And then he did that stuff. And, mm. then, and then and then you're just coming right back through there. And I was like, oh, you already took them out. And you even said they're like, oh, well, it's, it's good that I took these guys out because this is going to make this way easier. Mm. And then they were there. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> I just did Plot this. Twist. So I wonder if, if they purposely nice. respawn them because you have a time-sensitive thing to make it more intense. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um... But yeah, overall, I think Death Stranding is is fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I forgot to mention one. Speaking of random annoyances, uh, before before that mission, because I found out the thing that you delivered to South Knot City uh, causes the, the catastrophe. So I'm making my way back from South Knot City back to the Distro Center. That's what they call them, Death Death Stranding. It's called Distro Centers. It's pretty oh, cool. Oh, cool. Using the vernacular. And, uh, and um, my truck literally loses all power, like ten feet away from a generator. Oh no! Oh, no. So it has all this stuff. I'm like, well, I still got to deliver. I still got to uh, go to, to visit uh, Fragile or whatever. So, and so I, I know I can't take everything because it's like covered in like the the delivery for South Knot City and. Um, metals and ceramics. Oh, yeah. mm. So I just, I just bring, I just bring the thing for fragile with me, which I didn't know was going to start a whole another thing. Mm. So of course I go do that mission. I lose like sixteen hundred, two thousand metal. Jeez, twelve hundred ceramics. I had something similar happen to me. Yeah. Where if you leave the <laughs> shit for too long, it's like, oh, you lost it. No, motherfucker, yeah. I know where it is. I was gonna come back for it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just like random things that will piss you off. It's like, oh no, come on, work, work with me a little bit. But mm. yeah, on yeah, the were... whole, it's still a good game. It's just, it's just right. like those little things. Like, fuck, damn it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, there was one uh, moment where uh, Matt was running into like every possible problem that you could you, you could get to. Just like just every tiny little thing, because uh, you you never fell like ever. And then mm-hmm. there's one moment where... Uh, Let me tell you, you can't jump if you're holding L2-R2. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see anything about that. <laughs> yeah, there's those, there's those okay. cracks in the, war, uh, the, the the crevasses or whatever. And Matt was running yep. to go and jump over one and just didn't let go of L2-R2 and just fell. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, that was one. That was the only other time I've died. <laughs> yeah, but there was, there, was, there was one time where, where you were walking through uh, a river and you had a ton of stuff on you. Mm-hmm. And then you slipped... In the river and everything fell off of you including like 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 equipment that you're using a bullet gun is everything and was in the river and got stuck behind a rock and you were so fed up after having dealt with a bunch of other shit that happened before that you abandoned everything yeah <laughs> like i'm not going back <laughs> yeah i said that shit's dead dude no no i'm not doing <laughs> it i can just because honestly there's no repercussions you can just remake all the shit that you have yeah yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's, yeah. it's just a nuisance. And mm-hmm. uh, I think it was right after yeah. you had worked through an entire BT area while trying to be on like a bike and lost the bike or something like mm. that. And so you'd already lost the bike. You're making your way through and then you slip in the river and you're like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it all uh, down. But yeah, I, I like the game. Yeah, I think it's a good game. It just has some, just some odd stuff. And I think the story is fun. It's yeah. not like... It's not as bad shit crazy as I thought it was going to be. 
at least not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Once probably, you get over the initial, like, yeah, like, once you crazy. buy into the into the world, you're like, yeah, that makes sense. Right. Like right. this right. makes sense in the scheme of this world. Yeah. Keep talking to me, die hard man. <laughs> I'm president it. of right. I've accepted this. <laughs> yeah, I've accepted this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I wanted to say about the game uh, uh, from a design aspect that I thought was really good and something that I keep mentioning no matter every time I come across it, an example of it is how they'll 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 show you one thing like an uh, a resource of some type or or um, some aspect of of delivering and then you'll hit a point where you don't need to use whatever excess you have of that and then they introduce a new way to use the same resource like for instance uh, the chiral crystals at first you're just uh, collecting those things for like stuff to be made and then mm. uh, later you end up there's like a second use for the chiral crystals that you come across and it's like yeah. oh oh that's cool I can use this as like a fuel for something else and then like mm. oh the blood bags okay that's to heal myself oh I have like a thousand blood bags I never have to use them because I never get hurt and then oh actually you can use that for these items that help you with this thing it's like they uh, they give it to you first, and this is what it's used for, and then they're like, no, it's also this thing, too. So you have... It's not, it's not just like a dead resource. It's cool. Mm. I, think it's, I think it's a really smart design. Um, Sam, keep showering, peeing, and pooping for America so you can save it from the ghosts. Yep. Hell yeah, bud. You, you gotta get that number zero, number one, and number two going. <laughs> um, yeah, what else? <laughs> uh, big game that released the fucking Legend of Bumbo. Yeah. That game oh, yeah. is very good. Have you seen anything on Legend of Bumbo? He watched yeah, me watched play a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure. And it's not nearly as busy as it looks. Um, yeah, I'm not, like screen level looks like, oh, geez, what the... Uh, there's menus on top of menus, but after Matt explained it, it's a very... It's a, it's a bit simpler. Yeah. Um, but I've been having a great time playing that. Uh, I haven't lost a single run. Whoa. Matt was telling me that he was watching other people play. I was watching Bear Taffy and Northern Lion and Cobalt. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, no disrespect, but they fucking suck. <laughs> what? You can't say that about them. They're your heroes. Well. They're your no, no. You know, they, they don't fucking suck. Okay, that was an exaggeration. <laughs> they aren't. Oh, now you're backpedaling. They, well, it's a coward. You know, it's, it's a little too, you know, uh, extreme. Or strong. Sith only deal in absolutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, they don't make optimal, the most optimal plays. And then when mm. you saw me playing, I was playing slow, obviously, but I could also go pretty much infinite whenever I wanted. Um, which means I can just, like, manipulate the board with my spells and get more mana and then do the same thing keep going over and over again so uh, i could finish bosses in one turn rooms in one turn uh if i got a good stuff uh kind of good rng to begin with um and they don't do that yeah, well i was going to say the based on the way that you were describing it to me it seems like they uh they they didn't uh even they didn't catch on to even just like what some of the stuff it on the screen means yeah and so uh, it's 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 a lot of just not understanding uh what's there and then making decisions based on mm. what they they think weren't they looking know. at all of their tools yeah mm. and like you, you watch them play and they'll have like a backlog of like of of uh of mana, mana for something very specific that they're not even using and then they don't even think that they have mana for it and you're like you it's right there yeah I think it's right there you know so i think it, Maybe you, I, I mean, we, we talked about this before, but it's, it, I feel like maybe a little bit of it is having watched the videos that were made by the developer that mm -hmm. it, where he, he kind of just tells I definitely had a is. leg up. I wasn't going in absolutely blind. But also it, it, it doesn't seem like to me, even just like looking at it, that it's that difficult to know. It shows you when you pick up stuff, it goes to the thing. Like it, it like, you know where your mana is going. And yeah, the, yeah I mean, just... it's definitely not hidden. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they are also you, broadcasting yeah. the people and talking and stuff like that, so, you know. What right. you need to do is you need to at them on Twitter, call them a huge piece of shit for not playing the game correctly, and challenge them to a bumbo off. Well, they're probably better than me now. A bum off? A bum off. A bum off. 
Uh, Maybe, but you know, you generate up some, you know, a heat, some hype for a giant match, saying that you're the best Bumbo player in the dude, US. They'll just and... ban me. They'll they'll just they'll just mute they me on Twitter. They won't them. even entertain it. Shit. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, checkmate. Well, what you do is you make multiple accounts and you hound them for years and years <laughs> until they finally challenge you. Right. Yeah. Harass. Yeah. Them. Harass yeah. them. <laughs> okay. Harass, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. No, harassing is a strong word, okay? <laughs> it's uh, it's politely asking over and over again. It's uh, being persistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think that game is very good. Uh, you know, it sucks that it's kind of marred by a lot of uh, bugs um, at launch. Yeah. Because uh, they had a bunch of uh, power outages in California because fucking fire, I guess. So yeah. they lost a whole week of like bug test dev time, uh, and it's only a two oh, person team. It's just Edmund and the programmer. Mm. Um, so there's not a whole lot you can do with that yeah. if you don't have a week. If you lose a if whole you week, hold, yeah. If you lose a whole week, then you're kind of fucked. So it came out to mixed yeah. reviews. I think it's now it's like mostly positive, but it, it it's very good. And I would say Edmund is 100 percent right that it's on the same scope as like the very first Flash by of Isaac mm-hmm. in terms of I was about content. To say, yeah. Because the Binding of Isaac was like been worked on for years now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Binding of Isaac now is not the same game it was when it was first came out. Like, no, well, they, with the remake and everything <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but no, I, I sure encourage everybody to play game. it. And don't get like, everybody gets wrapped up. They're like, I don't want to play a match four game. It's barely a match four game. Yeah, no. It's barely a match four game. Yeah. Uh, my understanding of it is that the match four portion of it is just a vehicle to to allow you to. To access the other features of the game that aren't anywhere close to what a standard match four is, yeah, that it's just a way to get mana, mm-hmm. essentially, and uh, and you can do all sorts of cool combos and synergies and yeah. shit like that. Um, I know Evie's nice. a, a fan of, of Bunny Mice. Has she looked into Bumbo at all? I, I told her about it. I swear to God, like a year ago, I was like, "Oh, this is a new game by Binding by the Binding of Isaac people." Blah blah blah. She's like, "Oh, oh no, that doesn't look like Binding of Isaac." I'm like, "Okay," but mm-hmm. then I. Saw you play, and I said it to her again. She's like, "Oh, that's cool. I gotta play. It's my name, Isaac." I'm like, "What the? <laughs> yeah. What's going on?" <laughs> well, when he first talked about it, I think it did. It did look, uh, I mean, less polished than it is now. I think, yeah, you know, which might add to that. And it has more of a Bonnie Isaac vibe. I think she's just crazy because that's what women are, dude. <laughs> women are fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> Hard right. <laughs> <laughs> Hard alt right, let's go. No, red pill, red pill. Yo, I had, I woke up this morning and this is gonna be in trouble. <laughs> you know how dumb women are? Am I no. right? No, I woke up this morning and I just had this thought in my head. I don't know why. Oh no. I thought it would be a funny tweet <laughs> that is uh is not even that good of a joke. Is uh it's oh, is femin- or feminism just sexism for women? I just thought that was so funny to me. <laughs> I, I think, think I think that's I think I think you need to work on it. I think you need to workshop it a bit. <laughs> but I think it's got I think it's got some bones there. I it's got it's legs. Got yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, because if 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 somebody is not that I believe that it's just a joke. Yeah, no, it's a joke. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. It's it's yeah. it's a criticism of of certain feminist people. <laughs> I wouldn't even go that far. It's 2019. Yeah. You can't say stuff like that. <laughs> it's not anything but a facetious statement that I don't believe in at all. Yeah. Not it's now it's not the time to get political. On 106 <laughs> episodes. Uh, that's season two, though. <laughs> Stay tuned. Two, more political. <laughs> Just lean into the politics. Oh, God. Uh, and then, so play Bumbo. It's very good. Very fun. Uh, and then we played this new indie game, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, surprisingly, like, I, I didn't expect a whole lot from it, right? You know, because it's like an indie I game. also didn't expect a whole lot. You know, small team. Right. Um, uh, you know, pretty like original idea. Like no other game made it like it. You know? Yeah. Um, and and uh, uh, the I, the gist of it is there's like a whole world of these creatures. They call them what like pocket monsters it, or something. Yeah, it's something weird. Did you say yeah. Pokemon or Digimon? Because I think Digimon's a thing. I don't know about Pokemon. Oh no no, it's, no, it's, it's is, Pokemon. It's, it's Pokemon. like Digimon. It, it's like Digimon. Right. And some people, I mean, some people, you know, like, oh, it's uh, like they're trying to steal their, their idea. But no, it's different, right? I mean, sure, they got what is that called, like Dynamaxing, right? So it's yeah. a little bit like it's like Digivolving, but you only use it in certain areas. Most of the time, you don't even like 
Digivolve or Dynamax or whatever. Yeah, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, but um, uh, okay. uh, generally it's it's like it's like a more natural progression evolving just in general, and you don't go back to previous forms or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's oh, a okay. lot of it's like cool. 400 or something like that. Yeah, 400. Could you imagine if they had more in the game though? That would be uh, nuts. It feels dude. like almost too much. It would be nuts. Yeah, I think at some point you like had to cut something like the animations or the right. the, the, the polygons in the game. You, you yeah, because like, you smooth, don't have enough like room. Right? Shadows, or mm-hmm. even just you know. balancing. Yeah, there's just so many different yeah, things. Yeah. Like, how do you make a fun game with more than 400, you know, potential mm-hmm. party members? Right, because mm-hmm. it's kind of like a JRPG in a way. Yeah, it's kind nuts. of. Yeah. Anyway, so we can end this bit now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a fun bit. Yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, I didn't. I, I expected nothing. From like actually, it. you know, I was gonna buy it no matter what. Fuck the haters. Mm. But, uh, you know, surprisingly, it's fun. It's fucking so easy though. It's insultingly yeah. easy, uh, mm-hmm. which is kind of a disappointment. And I'm not really. I don't really care that much about difficulty, but like, it's it's brain dead easy. Yeah. So far. So far. Um, and I don't know. I liked it. I like Let's Go. So it's, it has a lot of like quality of life <clears throat> things that are, are good. I don't know. I like it. What do you think, Spencer? You yeah. Saw that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, the vibe of the game is good. I, I like the, the the vibe and the overall kind of world building that they have better than Sun and Moon. I did not like Sun and Moon. I just had to come to terms with myself. I didn't like that game. Yeah. yeah. It just didn't it, like it just didn't grab anything with me, and then they it, it, it was too. I don't know what I don't know what about it. It's just like like the way that they presented the world to you was so ham fisted, and like it was it was just a lot of of like trying to be Hawaiian Hawaiian yeah uh, to like an extreme degree, right? And so with this, and maybe it's just because I'm used to standard Pokemon stuff and, and the anime, it, it, this this game it leans more into the uh, the oh there's like you know these gym battles are like big events right and mm-hmm. it's it, it, it it's kind of more along the lines of, of what you might see in the t- in, in the, the show, show yeah uh, where there's like stands of people watching these these Pokemon matches and stuff yeah. like that where I fucking three turn the gym leader yeah Matt three turned the first gym leader. Dynamax's first Pokemon, uh, the, the, mm-hmm. the, the the first Pokemon he chose, and then you only get three turns from the Dynamax, and he defeated him in those three turns. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just only... piss poor easy. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I saw in that one Reddit thread I put on Twitter or whatever, like they had a video of like the final evolution of Sobble or whatever, one shot in like a later Pokemon gym leader. Yeah. Dynamax that's here. what made me pick. It's just... That's what made me pick Sabo as my starter. Uh, Inteleon? Oh, is yeah. Because that... <laughs> it's so fucking like... Yeah. Eh. 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 Like, yeah. And like, I, I was like, that's thing, like, my no, dog. Because like the Dynamax is like this little cutscene like, oh shit, the Pokemon's like a billion stories tall. Mm-hmm. Sabo Evolution uses Water Gun. <laughs> yeah. It fainted! <laughs> like, yeah. Holy shit. Like, yeah. Is that's the thing is they have all the trappings of making like a really cool competitively feeling single player mode for the game right because i say single player mode because apparently there there's a lot of quality of life stuff they made to make things like uh actual uh com- like competitive pokemon a thing more consistently mm-hmm. compared to the other mm-hmm. games which i think is cool i'm i'm uh, like i've always been interested in competitive pokemon but i always thought it was there wasn't enough to really go off of to make it really competitive um but uh or like long lasting but it, they have all the stuff there to make it possible. You Dynamax, you get in this big form. Like, why, why is it so easy just to kill things? You know, why can't it be like this Godzilla fight or something like that or make it more exciting? And mm. it, it, yeah, and it, the amount of hand holding is kind of absurd. Like, let's go mm-hmm. Poke or let's go Pikachu was way harder. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just like they tell you the same shit over and over again. Yeah, they're constantly like 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 literally tutorializing uh a thing that they just told you a little bit ago. Which actually, come to think of it, Death Stranding does that in the beginning a lot too. Like they'll retell you. Yeah, but like yeah. after that they fuck off. Which is good. You don't have to It's a lot in the beginning and then you get it. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, Pokemon's good. Are you going to get it, Fist Cake? I think I'm going to wait a while because you're going to wait for it. It's the... not even like, oh, fucking Game Freak Light. It's just like, I don't care about any of the starter Pokemons. I don't really care about any of the Pokemon I've seen. I just, nothing about it. Nothing about it sparks my heart, you know? Well, have you seen, like, uh, um, like, any I like, will say that the, the, gameplay? the starter Pokemon kind of blow. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. not, there's like, not a whole lot. To... Like, the only, like, really cool one is the grass one. Yeah. But I yeah. like the sassiness of the water one. And I've, like, I can count on my fingers how many times I've picked a water starter. Which is crazy, because Matt is, like, usually two. loves the water Pokemon. They all suck. Mm. Yeah. Um... No, I, I mean, uh, I was going to say, like, outside of the Pokemon, you know, being chosen, being s something you're into, I will say, just in general, just walking around and playing the game and, like, experiencing stuff, um, is, it, it, it has, like, a nice, it's just a nice time. Yeah, it has the same feel as Let's Go, where you're like, you're like oh, this is this nice. Pokemon of the world, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and this one, they, like, kind of, they see you and they kind of run at you a little bit, and, uh... Uh, you can, there's this area where there's a wall and then a little grass area and, and, and then there's these, there's these old like ruins, like stone, like rocks and you can run through there and like the Pokemon will be like, ah, I'm going to get you. And then you run up on the rock and it's like, oh, I can't follow you. And so they're like surrounding you on this little rock and it's just kind of this funny little moment. Uh, cause they're like low level Pokemon. You can just take them out anyways. But, um, yeah. if you already have it, you're like, I don't, I don't, I don't need to fight you. Go away. <laughs> yeah. Um, bye bye. but, uh, yeah, it, like the world building is is nice. All the areas make sense, like conceptually. Like you walk through it and it feels like you're in a town, you know, which I think is something that uh, you kind of suspend disbelief in a lot of the older Pokemon games. Um, and I think they did a really good job in this one specifically in making it feel like when you're in a town, you're like it feels like you're in a town. Uh, like, I like mean, in a yes city. and no. Well, with, with limitations because it's still a game. But I'm just talking about like like city identity. Like it feels like. A place that's what i guess what i'm trying to say but yeah uh, I, I like it i think it's i think it's good think it's and enjoyable. then the final game for whatever i've been playing uh star wars jedi fallen order that game is really good and that shit doesn't nice. tutorialize nothing <laughs> it's yeah. like it gives you like some stuff but like the first like three seconds not three seconds but like the first like little bit is like a bunch of uh climbing and stuff like that and you uh like you slide down a big thing and then there's just a rope there and then the game just assumes hey you've played video games before you should probably grab that rope and you know what mm -hmm. the game was right i have played video games before and i grabbed that the rope me. <laughs> you know looking at you fucking pokemon this is how you catch a pokemon i've been around since 1998 you bitch i was there when the first pokemon <laughs> <laughs> was born into this time. fucking world and I caught it I didn't even talk to the old man because <laughs> he teaches you the optional oh right right yeah they made that shit optional even then mm. um, but that game is very good it's like a metroidvania esque with dark souls yeah. inspired combat it's got dark souls style like shit going on like you go to an area and then you you, you have like experience where if you die you lose it Mm -hmm. And then all the enemies respawn when you leave an area and come back and stuff like that. And it's also Metrovania oh, where cool. you unlock new areas as you go and mm -hmm. uh, paths and things like that. It's like, I, I did not have that uh, uh, expectation at all when I first heard about the game. And so when Matt showed it to me just before we we did the podcast, uh, I was like, holy shit. Like, I expect it to be, you go to a place and there's like a set, you know, maybe a few paths or like a mission no. uh, type thing. But no, it's like straight it's up. It's sprawling areas that you can't Man. like some places you can't even access yeah you need like a force ability to open up a certain wall or something like that yeah. you know, like or you your little robot needs a an upgrade or something like that yeah it's, it's just mm -hmm. kind of cool like i did not i totally I didn't say, expect like, that leading up to e3 whatever they showed off at e3 and whatnot of uh, last year i think it was i was just completely bored because i looked like fucking a worse version of like force unleashed or whatever it's just like oh no, it's totally it's like different. Around. But yeah, 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 like it's a completely different game that they didn't show at all until now that people are talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. if I would like, I'm I was like, like kind of halfway excited after I heard about Giant Bombs review on it at E3 or whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, like they played it in person. I'm like, 
that doesn't sound like the game I saw at all. It sounds like a completely different game. Why don't right. they show some of that shit? But mm-hmm. I'm glad it sounds, I'm glad it sounds uh, like a good game. I'll have to check it out after yeah. beat all these other fucking games that came out in the last month alone. Yeah, mm-hmm. so many games. But man. yeah, there's like a lot of customization you can do. Like, it's cool. Like, no microtransactions. It's from EA. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine? Um, well, they bragged about it, though. Remember? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the tweet. Thank God. <laughs> like, look at us. We're not shit. <laughs> we, we do good. See, single player, no microtransactions. Love us a kid, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if I, if you're on the fence, Fiscate, just sign up for a premiere, dude. It's 20 bucks. Get it for free. Yeah. And you get the deluxe edition. That's what I did. Ooh. And I did it on a whim. I was like, I kind of wanted to play this. Let's see. You know, $20. I already paid for basic. So, you mm. know, I'll just do it. And I did it. And I was like, this is sick, dude. I'm a fucking Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a Jedi. And you can customize your lightsaber. Like, nice. there's a, the, the, you can add, like, bits to it and, like, change the color. And uh, uh, you can you can even make it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just cool. It's just, yeah, it's a lot of cool shit. There's yeah. a skill tree. Well, obviously. Well, I mean, like, just in a Star Wars game, you don't expect skill trees. Unless you're playing, like, KOTOR. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do want to play it eventually, but I just gotta get through all the shit that's going mm-hmm. on right you now. Gotta finish your food. Like, I got you. Yeah. It's like, oh, hey, here's a two-course dessert after your main course of five fucking meals. It's like, no, please stop. Yeah. It's like that scene in Monty Python movie or whatever, where the guy eats until he explodes. <laughs> Yeah, um, the grossest I, thing I've ever seen in movies ever. <laughs> I still hate that. Um, so there's, I mean, I mean, we also played Ultimate and played Terry, but I'm not sure. How, like, t- I, I mean, Terry is cool. To talk about Terry. Terry's cool. He's he, he feels like a, a much smoother version of of Ryu and Ken. Hmm. Um, and uh, I, I'm I'm playing him, so he's cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, not overpowered. He feels like well made, but he's uh, actually unique, unlike Banjo. Right. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 go to our first article, our topic, which is going to be XO19, which might be the only one we get to today, to be honest, uh, depending on how this goes. Um, w- this was an event. It's a Microsoft celebration of all things Xbox, a big fan event in uh, London, and uh, they had a bunch of announcements. Yeah. You so, get to the first thing. I got to use the restroom real quick. <laughs> okay. This guy, okay. He found this article. He already knows what's here. He doesn't, you know, it's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll I don't know how to exit. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is just going all wrong. Oh, God. Don't look at me. Don't, don't look at me. Oh, don't. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. No, there he is. We're seeing it all. Oh, yep, we're seeing it. Oh, oh, oh. He's good. He's out of here. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how far we want to get to this, but Obsidian is making a cute survival game called Grounded. What's yeah, that I saw about? the trailer. I, mean, I don't know. Look? I mean, it's just like, it's like whimsical. Like a whimsical survival game? Yeah, it's kind of like Pocahontas looking. Well, they're like natives. Oh, okay. And, you know, they're with the spirits. That's nifty. Know. I'm kind of into that. Played a lot of like Populous and like that has that type of vibe too, where you're like this ancient. Yeah, group but that's of people. way more Greek looking. Well, well, not the one game that I played. It was like a mix. It was weird. But yeah, I see what you're saying because it's like gods and stuff that you get with in Populous. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I, I like those kind of slower um, uh, survival-y type games. Um, I think they're they're a neat time. Um, Wasteland 3 coming in May of 2020. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I'm kind of excited because I feel like I should be because I thought Wasteland 2 was pretty good, but we didn't even finish Wasteland 2, did we? Mm. But it was, it was pretty good, mm-hmm. right? It was a good time. Um it, in, in that link, is there any information about how it's going to play? Is, is, is it going to be isometric or? Pretty sure it's going to be isometric. Like, just a standard. Uh, we're talking about Wasteland 3. Um, we talked about Grounded. Oh, it's nice. a cute survival game made by, who was it? I don't even know. Obsidian. Obsidian, right, 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 right. Um, so Wasteland 3, uh, I, I, was, I was telling Matt, I'm not sure like how I feel about it. Like I, I feel excited, but like not like super excited. Um... It's it, we played Wasteland two like a while back. We have old videos on our channel mm-hmm. of us playing it, and it was it was fun. Yeah. We didn't finish the game uh-huh. though, um, but uh, I mean I'm always into those types of games. Generally, the isometric uh, CRPGs. Um, so if it's if it's more of that with maybe a bit more polish, 
Yeah. Because that game had some problems. Um, Damn. That, uh, yeah, that might be that'd be cool to look into, and that's coming out in May. Um, Halo Reach coming to PC on December 3rd. Yo. Yeah. yeah. Sick. Looks like we're going to have, like, one more week of payday, and then... And then it's going to be Halo Reach. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Halo Reach all day, every day. You know, I can't Hopefully wait to be trash at that game. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's probably people who are way better at it, at it now. Who have been playing? Not on PC. Oh. Well, you. What you do is you take the Microsoft Xbox controller, and you move it to the PC. Right, but you. Yeah, but the people playing on Xbox. Aren't going to be as good on PC. Yeah. That's just how it goes. Well, cause it's like, <laughs> well because well because your, your mouse inputs are so much more precise than they are for than they are for a controller. So I guess using a controller in the PC oh, version is going to be a negative for you, regardless. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, and and there's a whole way of like like style of playing when it came to specifically Halo, like the way you aim, how you do your sensitivity, oh, yeah. um, whether or not you 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 aim with your character or aim with your with your look. It was like a whole thing for a while. I remember that because I, I generally aimed with my character and apparently that was unoptimal. <laughs> it depends on the situation. Like, like I would aim more with my strafing than I did with actually looking to aim at the time. I think I'm, I, I don't, I don't probably do that anymore, but. I just remember you being pretty bad. I was okay. We got better. I mean, you guys were definitely better than me for sure. <laughs> That's true. We got better. Because there's seizes sure, up. I do seize up, yeah. So, like, like I would get... Uh, I got a sniper rifle, and he'll seize up, and then it, it'll unscope himself. Yeah, so, like, I'll, I'll oh, no. run through it, and my hand will, 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 will clinch, and then right as I'm about to shoot, it'll unzoom. Because <laughs> I'll press oh, no. down the thing. And then it freaks me up every time. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to play it, though. A lot of good memories in Halo in general. Halo and 3, Halo Reach, probably have, like... Thousands probably, of hours. Yeah, we... Me, Coulter, and Spencer lived that shit. Especially Halo oh, yeah. 3. And I even played, like, Halo 2 and Halo 1 before that. Um, not with the same level of intensity as Halo 3, though, and Halo Reach. I think, for me, Halo 1 was me playing with my cousins. Halo 2 was me playing with my cousins and my friends. But then Halo 3 and Reach was just playing with my friends. So it, it got... It got crazy after a while. It was just it was just all everybody would talk about. It was just fucking Halo. Like, hey, you yeah. want to play Halo? I'm like, yeah, I guess. Fuck, let's go. <laughs> oh, Dude, God. Halo, like, absorbed people. Oh, yeah. Like, every day after school, <laughs> oh, we shit. just literally went to, like, Matt's house and played Halo. <laughs> mm. and that was it for hours. Mm. We never got tired. Oh, man. <laughs> One of the few games that has done yeah, that to me where it's like, I never got tired of playing Halo. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. A lot of people are excited for Age of Empires 4 that got announced. Shown gameplay. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, that looks fun. Um, I mean, you say Age of Empires, you know, it's another R RTS. I'm really curious if RTSs still have a place in the pop game world where, you know. I think if they're single player ish, they do. Like, obviously, city builders, you know, like, what's that one that you're good at? Uh, Banished? Yeah. I mean, that's an RTS. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it really depends. I don't think there's ever going to be another competitive scene for RTSs, which is at sad. least not to the StarCraft Two launch or Brood War days level. Right. But you know, I don't yeah. know what I'm talking about. It's really just a guess. Everything comes around in a circle. So yeah, I could see like a simple, uh, uh, uh because like StarCraft Two is kind of a simplified RTS compared to a lot of other ones that are more complex but don't lean themselves quite as well to competitive play um like i wonder if i think there's room for a simple ish one but i don't, I don't think it would be anytime soon unfortunately all the final fantasy is coming to game pass that's cool yeah well 7 mm -hmm. to 15 which is all the ones that matter so well no Man. like a lot of people love six yeah i know i said that because it's funny because everyone loves six wow dude <laughs> got him outrage culture <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I don't even know what the fuck it. that is. <laughs> Cancel culture? No, um, outrage culture. Oh, just yeah. Oh, there's so many cultures, man. I don't even know. I don't know, dude. Every time I hear a new one, I just want to shoot myself in the head. <laughs> is there like a shoot myself in the head hearing of culture? Culture? Probably, yeah. 
I think that's part of cancel culture. I think that's like the final stage when you get canceled. <laughs> you get canceled, mm-hmm. you cancel yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You I can't cancel like me. The... I cancel me. Mm-hmm. Supreme cancellation. Twitter note. I I can't believe I disappointed my fans. I'm sorry. I'm going to cancel myself. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry about the feminism tweet. <laughs> It was really just a joke I made. The just thing I woke up this morning. I thought it was know. just kind of funny. Nah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to systematically destroy all women across the mm-hmm. board. It mm-hmm. was not my intention. You make a YouTube video okay. and you started out by just saying. Oh, so Everwild <laughs> is the is not grounded. That's the one that I thought was. Oh, you thought that Everwild was grounded. Yeah. Okay, so Matt was telling me about grounded, but apparently it was actually telling me about Everwild. Uh, it's a new adventure from Rare. Oh, Rare's making a new game. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Well, that does look cool. It has kind of like a... Was... Kind of like a... What's the one where you're like a tapestry and you go through the desert? Uh, Journey. Yeah, it's kind of a little it has reminiscent kind of, of our style of that. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. so that's Everwild. What is grounded? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? It's more grounded. No, oh, it's just like a fucking kids and they're, they're tiny. Okay, honey, I... <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the kids' survival game. There's a bunch of kids. Nah. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Uh, ooh, Minecraft Dungeons is out well, here, guys. We skipped X Cloud. Oh, I'm right. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, this guy, you want to take the lead? We skipped on a whole bunch of geeks, other stuff coming to the Game Pass too. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's yeah. just like a list of games, right? Yeah. I think you the big one. You don't started. know then. You don't. Well, I know Rage Two did. Well, yeah, click the link now. Wait, the games. What's there? What's there? They're coming to Xbox. It's big news. They haven't come to. They haven't been part of an Xbox ever. Oh yeah, Yakuza. Yakuza is coming to Xbox yeah. for the first time. Oh. Yeah. They I saw an article for that, and I passed it up, thinking that you would have brought it up. So I'm glad that you uh, fulfilled that <laughs> expectation. I was trying to, but you guys were like, "No, that's fine. Fuck this. <laughs> Let's skip <laughs> straight to the next thing. Let's not look three <laughs> entries down real quick. Fuck that shit." My God. Yeah, you you're just... bad. That's my brand. <laughs> you're skipping my brand. <laughs> no, that's cool, it. though. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I'm like, I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I take this as a win as part of the Yakuza Studio. Do you uh, even own an Xbox? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's really cool. I'm just what really about excited Game for Pass? Them. I mean, I got it for the PC, but they have all this shit coming out already for the PlayStation 4, so I'm just going to get that eventually. What's Skatebird? <laughs> I'm not looking at You're a bird who skates. Probably, I actually. S- yeah, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, Fiske, why don't you tell us about uh, XCloud? What you got on that? Uh, what? Um, I mean, you met Matt. Matt uh, so- I, just because you weren't talking, but then, but then since you brought up the whole Yakuza thing. Okay, so now. Yeah, I have no so idea now it's what XCloud term. is. Okay. Uh, this is unfortunate. Um, uh, no, you're it's, good. It's, uh, you're good. We're waiting for cloud. Spencer to tell us. Okay, I got it. I got you. No, you're fine. You're off the hook. Streaming Savus. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's it's Project X Cloud. Yeah, it's going to be streaming to PC in 2020, and they're adding DualShock 4 support, and it's going to include 50 plus games, uh, coming to their, their their preview program. And if you have Game Pass, it comes included. Yep. And the, the first part of the expanded public test is is the addition of more than 50 titles to that Project X Cloud pr- preview. The list of new games includes first-party games such as Crackdown 3, Halo Wars 2, or In the Blind Forest, uh, State of Decay 2, and some other stuff. And in third-party games, it actually includes Devil May Cry 5, Tekken 7, Madden NFL 20, Hitman, uh, Ark, and Borderlands, a handsome collection. Um, the Project X Cloud players will be able to stream those Xbox One games to Windows PC next year, and Microsoft says it's collaborating with a broad set of partners to make game streaming available on other devices as well. Um, so Watch out, Stadia. Which apparently might not even be a thing. Um, it might be Gania. <laughs> Got him. Stay. Dia. Dia. Yeah, no, left Dia. Uh, <laughs> Bye ya. Uh, yeah, Microsoft said it plans to roll out Project X Cloud to Canada, India, Japan, and Western Europe in 2020. Um, but I guess they're going to start here because we're the best. Um, fun, fun Stadia story. Whatever happened recently, uh, the two people in the Discord I'm in. Uh, that did purchase or pre-purchase Stadia were like, oh shit, how do I cancel my Stadia order? Oh no. I don't know how to do it. I, and I can't remember what happened. It was like something really weird, but I think they announced something. I'll look into it, but I don't Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah something Stadia's happened with, with Stadia where they're like, we're not even sure if it's going to be a thing anymore. Like, it's really weird. 
So you looked that up, and I'll talk more about xCloud. So apparently they, the platform aims to bring game streaming to a variety of platforms via the, the cloud and eventually let users stream games from their, their own Xbox consoles to mobile phones, PCs, and other devices. So is it going to be, I guess it's going to be based on the Xbox console, and then you'll be streaming from there to other stuff. Um, no, I don't, I think... It says uh, eventually let users stream games from their own Xbox consoles to mobile phones, PCs, and other devices. They're streaming from oh, so the you're Xbox. like casting. Yeah, I vaguely remember them talking about how you could use your Xbox as a server. Yeah. Basically. Which is interesting. It's an interesting use of Yeah, that. which is an interesting way to do that. And also it makes me wonder if um, the next uh, era of... Project uh, Scarlet? Yeah, is, is going to come like built with this in mind. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which then makes me think, okay, what's going to take I just a hope hit? they don't name it something fucking stupid, like the Xbox One 2. <laughs> or like the fucking Xbox, why was 6 afraid of 7? <laughs> like, <laughs> include the whole thing, because 789. Like the whole thing's the name. No, dude, that, that's, that's the, the, you know, that's Gen like 3. You know oh. how they release like the Xbox mm -hmm. One S or the Xbox Extreme X Super? <laughs> that's going to be that. Right. It might just be like the Xbox Central or the Xbox Core. The X Core, dude. The X Core. X Core 5. Yeah, yeah dude. This, uh, They're already on 5. Extreme 1999 vibes. Hmm. Well, the second Xbox was an Xbox 360, so I mean, fuck, man. That's yeah, like that was just stupid. 359 consoles ahead of time. <laughs> It's the Xbox 360 because it was no longer a box. It now had like it was it had like a circular logo now. Mm. I remember when it first got shit. announced. They're like the 360 because you look at it and you turn 360 or whatever, and then you walk away. I don't know. It was a oh, joke. Which is, I didn't which make is the dumb joke. Because I just heard people make the you're, joke. You're turning a 180 if you walk away. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And then of course people are like, "What's the next one to be called? 720?" <laughs> Everyone's like, "Yeah, you're real funny, dude. You know." Anyways, Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, I Minecraft feel like Dungeons. I'm the only one that's kind of excited about that. <laughs> it looks interesting. Are you actually? Are you yes. Making a joke? Okay, I wasn't sure if you're making a joke. I haven't seen anything on it, just so it actually does look interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I click it real quick. I just want to see if there's anything like a picture or something. What we're talking about, it's not going to make it last. Do you longer. even like look at these things when you? Um, he's oh, no, only found this article. This article. So. No, that's just like this doesn't show any gameplay. Oh, it doesn't show any gameplay. So it's just it's just going to be a dungeon crawler though. Yeah, like turn based. Oh, or something like that. So it's 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 like a. It might be more like an ARPG. Huh, oh, that's nice. Kind of cool. Life is strange. The only thing. Oh, so you oh, found sorry. this the Stadia thing? I think the only thing I've found is that uh, they're like, oh, I would get this, blah blah blah. Uh, well, it, it has a, like it's initially a back catalog of free games included for your ten dollar monthly fee. So Stadia is not primarily a subscription service. The only game that come out that will come out for the subscription service is destiny 2 along with the back, other back catalog of free games and they said you should expect to buy not rent cloud games for the same retail prices you find on other platforms like playstation xbox and steam and i can't remember if that's new or not no that's not new okay so i found this article that says uh, the biggest concern with, with stadia is that it might not exist um, and it was saying oh. that um, uh, this minimum viable product approach is a very Google way to launch something. It's like bare bones functionality and updating over time until it re realizes its potential. So it's going to like release with like the bare minimum of what it takes to be a thing. Uh, well, mm -hmm. that's what that dude alleges. Um, Google will soon allow Stadia Pro subscriptions without needing to buy the controller bundle first. Why were you even talking about Stadia? Because he said he was going to look up some... Uh, some so much it was stuff mentioned like. because of the X Cloud thing, and I was trying to. I remembered that people were getting there's some reason orders for some. Yeah, yeah. I think it's mainly the big uh, controversy is that when you buy games on Stadia, you don't you don't own them anywhere. You yeah. buy them for Stadia for that service, and if that service ever goes away, yeah. Oh, that's actually what the same right games are gone. Comment. Yeah, it, it says the biggest complaint <laughs> most developers have with Stadia is the fear that Google is just going to cancel it. Nobody ever says, oh, it's not going to work, or streaming isn't the future. Everyone accepts that streaming is pretty much inevitable. The biggest concern with Stadia is that it might not exist. Yeah. It's like, like, it's you can't trust... a very clickbaity way to yeah. talk about yeah, that. Yeah, it is pretty clickbait. But yeah, yeah like, you know, <laughs> the way they have it set up is, it, it seems like you really can't trust it to be a thing. Like, did and, you see put, that and put all your eggs in that did. basket, you know? 
You see that AMA study I did? Yeah. With the fucking, what happens with the games? We feel you. We were also scared of CDs when they first came out. What the, what oh, the fuck? Yeah, that's so, like condescending. <laughs> what is that? No, no I don't think it was condescending. I think they were just like, we did. We weren't prepared for this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a real answer, but it's, it, it came out unintentionally kind of condescending. But yeah, it was, it was definitely like a huge nothing answer. Gotcha. Yeah. That was just funny. But um, yeah, Stadia, don't, don't get it. What, what, I mean, unless next? it's really cool. Yeah, I mean, a lot to. I mean, I'll judge a book when the cover when, when the seen. cover comes out. Yeah, when the cover comes out. You, well, I don't know why you would get it, because you have your data caps, and that thing's gonna fucking stream. We don't. Have I don't a have cap. a data cap. We pay. We pay to not have. Oh. One. We pay not to have one. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. So I. Yeah. Like, yeah. So fuck. That's you. why you pay the big bucks so you can buy study. <laughs> yeah. Potentially. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, definitely, probably not, but maybe. Hmm. But definitely, yeah. probably. See, not. That's one of the problems with it is like there's probably so many people who are waiting to see. Where it's the same. It's, it's the VR funded. curse, right? Yeah. Where you need buyers to buy VR in the first generation, or they don't have any mm. money to advance the tech. Yeah. But the first generation usually suck, so yeah. you don't want to buy that. You want to wait for the second one. Mm -hmm. But the second one might not happen if you don't buy the first one. Yeah. There's the problem. Anyways, yeah, Life is Strange devs making second. another adventure game. Eh. Cool. Drake Hollow. This next game from the Flame and the Flood devs. I remember that had some buzz when it first came out, but then oh. yeah, I haven't heard anything about it since. And I think the big, the big thing coming up, you know, is our boy Ron Perlman. <laughs> My man, he's in a game. Yeah, he's in again. two games. He's in so Payday. Far. Two. Fuck those fucking Shield boys. Yep, he says that in the game. <laughs> and then this new one, which uh, West of the Dead, looks. Very interesting. West of Dead is a Wild West twin stick shooter starring Ron Perlman. It looks cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm not usually into in, like like super into twin stick shooters, but they're yeah. generally like fun for like a short period of time. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Just to sometimes it's kind of weird when uh, developers just hey, we're working with Ron Perlman. <laughs> you know, Ron Perlman. Uh, oh, next God. Sea of Thieves update has a new tall tale. Don't care. Yep. Uh, Ninja Theory's Bleeding Edge is out March. Ooh. What did Ninja Theory make before? Uh, Ninja Gaiden? Uh -huh. Well, maybe. They also made uh, Hellblade, I think. Well, oh, oh no, Ninja yeah, Ma they yeah. made Hellblade. They, they made the Hellblade. Oh, shit. This is their next game. Yeah, but it's like a hero shooter. It's a right hero thing. brawler. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's different. I'm not sure if I like that. <laughs> well, um, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to look into it because I like their yeah. their their other game. <laughs> They've made a lot of games. Well, I like their. I liked Hellblade. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Hellblade <laughs> was really good. Was very good. One of my, one of my favorite games mm -hmm. like ever. It's awesome. Uh, it's like an art piece, but uh, is and that was essentially it though for XO19, right? Yeah. Yep, that was the whole, cool, the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, because currently, like right now, that like the joystick awards or something's going on. People are already, some hot shits going down with people calling out video game review sites and shit. So, <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people were like, "Well, IGN gave Pokemon a nine point three. Fucking, they're mm. on the payroll." <laughs> Fucking script. No, I think it's uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just like well, not the, idiots. I hate people yeah. who say dumb shit. Yeah, the, I just saw the clip of the guy calling out Kotaku. It was for like the esports journalist of the year, and she he was just shitting on them for like reusing the same articles about Fortnite and other esports over and over again. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely shit on them for that. I'm just saying. Yeah. When they're like, oh, you put on the shells. Everyone's paid off. Like that's all that's giant the assumption. Man. Every time, every time something's not like exactly the way people expect it to be, it's like, oh, they were paid off. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 they've always got to be paid off. Yeah, or you know what? Maybe mm. not. Maybe they just have a different opinion. Mm. Oh, so you're paid off? <laughs> Fuck! I wish I was paid off. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, Maybe I think like off. a lot of screening happened after the whole video game donkey video where he just shat on them. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm talking about with I mean, a lot like of reviewers. He, he made up good points about certain, maybe not even like everybody, but certain certain articles and whatnot. But right, it was just like after that, everybody's like, "Oh yeah, they're all shit. <laughs> they're all paid and shit. Mm-hmm. They're all paid. Nobody. There's not an honest reviewer out there. Fuck." <sighs> all right. Well, all right. that brings us to the end of the television program. Yes, that in fact does. It is. We have hit the hour and thirty minute mark. Uh, Fist Cake, why don't you tell people where they can find you and what you're doing? Hey, you can find me tweeting occasionally at the Fist Cake where me and Matt talk shit at each other in fighting games and, and I beat him in fighting game lingo somehow. Dude, I laughed so hard at that fucking tweet that you sent me. <laughs> it was really good. That was a, a, just a phenomenal tweet. <laughs> it, it helped that I memorized that combo in my head from trying to do it a billion times. It's just like, all right. It was just so good. Yeah, it was really good. (laughs) But um, so if you want to see more hot stuff like that, critically acclaimed by the NGTV boys, check out (laughs) at the fist cake on Twitter. Um, And it was me getting roasted. It was it was him. Yeah, Um, it was was very good stuff. Um, I'm also on YouTube at the fist cake. I am currently working on videos. Been editing my goose video. I still need to finish playing that game, but. I got stuck at something. I don't know. It, it, there's like a thing where you're supposed to like pull out a stool underneath an old man. So he falls down. But if you so don't mean. do it at the right time, he doesn't fall down. And he's like, why would you do that? And I mm. tried it for like 20 minutes straight and I still couldn't do it. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe you have to like make him sleep or something like that. So you can do it when he's on. Un- Maybe you just have to kill him. No. You just murder well, him. I think that's like the final level is when you kill everybody, you get a gun. Right go on a rampage but i watched a video and i did i wasn't doing anything different i I just don't i don't know but um anyways goose shenanigans you're gonna come up and stuff check me out there uh twitch i'm not able to stream currently but you can see me hanging out on most likely the ngtv boy stream with payday 2 on fridays and who knows what else Ah, but that's it for me where can people find you two you can find us on YouTube and Twitch at the same place, at, well, the same name, uh, Neanderthal Gaming TV. So YouTube.com slash Neanderthal Gaming TV for all of our videos. Uh, the, all of them are basically uh, edited or, or episoded uh, Twitch VODs. Um, and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Neanderthal Gaming TV. Uh, we stream uh, Saturdays and Sundays with some Smash content. Matt is, is going to be doing some Bumbo um, throughout oh, the uh, 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 Tuesday or Friday. And then we'll be doing payday, of course. Um, you know, and we might be doing. Uh, we haven't quite decided yet whether or not you want to be just moving on with with Pokemon um, without me during the day, or if, or, or if we're going to be doing that together or not. We'll we'll figure that out. But that's essentially what we do. You can also follow us on Twitter at Neanderthal GTV, and uh, as previously stated, shenanigans. Um, as far as content complete specific information goes, you can check us out on Twitter at Complete Cast. Uh, so where you can find information about the podcast itself and generally uh, any specifically content complete branded uh, collaboration between the three of us. Uh, you can send us ideas and suggestions to com- contentcompletecast at gmail.com. Um, <laughs> the podcast goes live uh, right now. We're, we're sticking to, to going live at, Nanotho- at twitch.tv slash Nanotho gaming TV. But uh, in the future, we're going to be expanding out. Um, did we want to talk about the YouTube channel just yet? Or, I mean, I, I guess you just kind of... Yeah, I just did. So we have, we have a Content Complete uh, YouTube channel uh, separate to uh, where we're posting the videos at the moment. So if you're interested in going there, we're going to be trying to you know, branch into that area, uh, including some highlights and stuff like that from the podcast itself so we can focus down some of our talking points. Yeah, get ready uh, for season two. And we're planning a season two. So kind of a, a soft rebranding and kind of a soft reset of, of, of the podcast itself. Uh, here in, in the, the next rare case that you most likely haven't seen the first 105 episodes, we're just going to make a whole new season so you don't feel like you have to watch 105 episodes. Exactly. Free grown we men ain't no anime up in their this minds. <laughs> <laughs> this, ain't Neyru- this ain't your dad's day, Rudo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, all episodes are available on YouTube at, at you know, youtube.com slash TV and the Content Complete uh, YouTube, YouTube channel. Uh, and the audio-only version, we're uh, not currently uh, p- posting those uh, online at the moment. We're we're in between setups, 
um, in the future we might uh, be bringing that back. But uh, right now we're just sticking with video for the moment. But uh, still being released on Mondays, and we're still streaming it every other Sunday. So uh, the next time we're going is actually the first, I believe, right? First of no, December. we haven't been decided yet. Getting way ahead of you. I think for sure the first will be fine. It's just the yeah. next it's after time the first. will be unsure. No, yeah. it's before the. Is in the before the first? Nope. No, it's okay. Later. I'm thinking the of the first of the December year. For, yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Sorry, December first is yeah. the next one. After that, we're not for sure, but yeah, we'll holidays. keep you posted on the twitters and stuff. Yeah. So make sure to follow us at Complete Cast, uh, Complete at Complete Podcast uh, for the the Twitter information. But uh, yeah, anything else uh, you guys want to say or talk about? Nope. Don't forget to tip your waiters. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.